this is an unboxing review for Tartan Tarantulas. Uh, well, as you can see, Royal Mail has not been kind to this box. But hopefully there's nothing wrong. I've looked on the inside and it seems very nicely packed. So let's have a look. First off, I'd like to say thank you to Mystic Spid for recommending Tartan Tarantulas to me. I have to say that this girl came at a very good price. It was £25 plus. Sorry. Silly me. It was £25 including shipping. Ooh, I can see a bit of her. Can you see what I see? Can you guess what it is yet? Well, there's probably a good chance that you'll know it anyway. What we got here was an, is an eight centimeter dangerous love suspense. Acanthoscuria geniculata. Now, from the picture I saw on Facebook, she seems to be a bit of a hair kicker, so... Goody. I've got her enclosure set up already, although I've not filled a water dish yet. And I've even fabricated a nice little cave for her out of a cricket tub. However, this is just temporary. As soon as I find something more suitable, I will be using it. But considering how tiny she is, I don't think it would be much of a problem. Is this enclosure too big for her? Well, maybe, but she's a fast-growing species, so... Well, she'll grow into it, and then she'll grow out of it. Right then. Without further ado, let's see if I can get this off without making an arse of myself. I just hate it when things are stubborn. Look at that little cutie. This is actually a different specimen. Because there's no ball spot that I can see. Oh, she's lovely. Well, I have to say, in spite of what Royal Mail did to the box, she has arrived and she looks very healthy. Packing is excellent. Towels are all nice and moist. And there's not a single thing wrong with her that I can tell. And now it's most likely time to get haired. Goody. You're on YouTube, please don't bite. Hey there, there. Come on. Come on, little one. I don't want to bod you too much because you'll kick hairs at me. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
cutie pie, aren't you? That's it. Reach up. New home waiting for you. Oh, you're so adorable. Tartan Tarantulas, thank you very much. This girl is gorgeous. She looks absolutely stunning. There's my hands, and you can see, you can tell just how small she is. Just imagine how big she'll get, eh? These guys are voracious eaters as well. So hopefully, this little girl will be putting Scarlet to shame. Because if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that Scarlet is voracious. Come on. Up you come. Alright. I think I better pause it just for the moment. Well, got her out. And she's a pretty good weber. Very thick strands. Poor little darling. Now she's had an exhausting day. So I think it's time to put her in her home. Come on, sweetie. There you go. No, there's nothing in your water dish yet, sweetheart. To be honest, considering how small she is, I'm not even sure I should have a water dish. Oh, climbing, eh? I wonder. Oh, no, there's too many water droplets. Precious girl. <laughs> I love tarantulas. I can't think of a single bad thing to say about any of them. Even the evil ones. So, leave me a suggestion if you want to, regarding water. Should I take out the water dish completely, use bug gel, or just fill it up, or well, fill that little dish up a tiny bit? Because there's no danger of her falling into it, but these things happen. So please feel free to leave me any kind of suggestion you want to, but nothing negative. get over how cute she is but just to recap tightly packed and still very damp if you're looking for a tarantula I would highly recommend tartan tarantulas you can find them on Facebook they've got incredible prices staff are very helpful 
and very communicative. Brain fart. Communicative. Well, I think I've embarrassed myself long enough. I shall end this video now. Okay, I came to my senses and transferred it from that to this. The question is, what do I give her for a hide? Can't really use cardboard because it'll go all floppy. Can't use wood because it'll go mouldy. I'm sure I think of something. Thank you for watching.